All right, here's the the container on uh, the kiln system outside. Um, these are the side entry doors. We never use those. We keep those shut. You'll see the insulation on the other side in a second. Uh, here, two switches to control fans on the inside. Um, here is the box that we use to cover the actual control unit. Um, there it is. It's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> um, cut a hole there to get the electronics through there. There's the uh, electrical setup. This line, um, hard to see in the grass, but goes over to our electrical hook up there. Um, container, there's a vent. There's a vent on this side. There's a vent on the opposite, kind of catty corner side. Um, here's the entrance. We took off the cargo door and put in these wood doors. I don't know if you can see it in the sun. Uh, wood doors, insulated, it just makes it a little easier for us to get in and out. <clears throat> Inside the container, it's 8 by 24. You can see how we set it up. Um, you can see the insulation on the side. Some of it needs to be tacked up, maybe refreshed. Uh, there's the vent I noted. This is the uh, kind of moisture sensor uh, hooked up. Over here is the actual main drying system. You can see that. Um, it's probably about three feet by two feet. Um, here is one of the inside fans. We have one on this end, one on that end. There's another vent down there I'll show you. These fans circulate the air. Um, there's the, the electrical entrance from the switches I showed you to control those two fans. Um, and this, this fan slash vent, again, opposite ends to help circulation. Uh, you can see how we've kind of tacked up wood braces and the insulation behind it. Uh, this outside, this uh, silver stuff is a very thin uh, insulation. Underneath it is kind of more standard board-like um, insulation. Uh, and again, here here are the slats that we use to to stack the wood on. We had a number of these. Um, I'm not sure if my father-in-law is wanting to sell those, but if he is, I'll get a, get a price. Uh, so this is, and here's the, here's the cargo door. You see there's some insulation that's falling down, but we keep that shut and we enter in through here, the front rather. Here's the full kind of length. You can see it, the fans, the system, it's worked pretty good for us. Like, uh, seven to 10 days is the estimate for drying the wood depending on size and makeup of the wood and all that type of stuff um, but here's the unit um, you can see some screws sticking out that's how we just set up the wood and stuff um, it's been it's been a good unit for us no no major problems with the container um, could use a washing <laughs> stuff like that but for what we're using um, on the farm here uh, this serves our purpose I think that's it. If there's any questions, just let me know. Thanks.